I'm Ron! Welcome to our science lab! So today we're going to do a full science experiment! What experiment? A cloud in a jar! How do we do that? I'm gonna show you! Let's get started with the experiment! In this experiment, you will need a jar with lid, about one third cup of hot water, ice cubes, and any brand of hairspray. That's it! So we will start off with pouring the hot water into the jar. You want to swirl it around a bit to warm up the size of the jar But be careful because it's hot Ask your parents to help you on this Now put the lid on the top of the jar Then place several ice cubes onto the lid So now allow it to rest on the top of the jar for about 20 seconds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Okay, so now we'll go ahead to the fun part. Remove the lid quickly and spray a bit of hairspray into the jar. And then you will start to see the clouds form almost instantly. So cool! Now when you see a good amount of condensation form, remove the lid and watch the cloud escape into the air. So basically, the science behind this experiment is that clouds are made when water vapor attaches to particles in the air like dust. And that's exactly the same thing that's happening in our glass right now. This experiment is so cool. I also want to share them my experiment that's also related to clouds. Hmm? It's about how to make rain inside the jar. Really? Yes, I'm also going to use this. Okay, sure. We're also going to need three quarters full with water from the top, any brand of shaving foam, gel food coloring dissolved in top water, also gonna need a pipette or a dropper and that's pretty much it so we're gonna start off with an empty jar or a clear glass container you just want to put about three quarters full with water from the top be careful so you won't like spill water and if you can't do it just ask your parents to do it for ya then we're gonna use the shaving foam to create a cloud on top of the water try to put just as much as what can fit on top of the remaining space of the container Okay, so now drop the food coloring into the cloud slowly and don't put too much. Now let's look closely. You can see the colored water will begin to seep down through the shaving cream and into the water below just like rain. That's amazing! How did that happen? Well, the shaving cream represents the clouds and the water represents the air. The colored water represents the rain and as the colored water saturates the cloud, it gets heavy, and eventually it can no longer hold the water. It drains down into the jar. It's just like the real rain falls through the air. Guys, did you like our experiment? Yes, yeah, so those are just some simple science experiments that you can do. It's also great to do in school and also in your home. We hope you like this video! Don't forget to give us some love! Thank you guys for always watching our videos! And if you love this video, give us a big thumbs up! And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share! We love you guys! Bye! Bye.